Everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. I'm here on the Velt, or the Beast Plains, or whatever, because I am doing some magic and money and rage grinding. <clears throat> Here's what I've picked up for rages so far. Pause the video if you really want to take a look and see. But I've got a few. Some things on here you probably have not seen me fight on screen because I've been fighting them off screen. Not that. And as espers go, we've been working on the new stuff. We're actually going to take a break from doing this though because I'm feeling pretty comfortable about where we're sitting. We're going to go swap out our party, we're going to go do some shopping, and then we're going to pick up a new party member. Actually, let's do two new party members today. Why the hell not? Maro, you come with me. Uh, we'll take Strago and Realm. Celeste will sit this one out. And... That's our lowest level character. Edgar, you come with me. Let's do all members this time. <coughs> Excuse me. I want you to take the crown. You get stat boosts from the crown. Thunder shield. You can take the helmet. Uh, we will run into, on the Beast Plains, the King Behemoth. Which means we can actually grind up Behemoth suits, which, if more than two people could equip them, would be kind of useful. But only two people can equip them, so it's not all that useful. Alright, we're gonna give you our dash shoes and a gold hairpin, because you suck through magic like it's nobody's business. You'll take a sniper eye and. Get the memento ring as you always do, and you need more evasion. So, oh, that. Let's see, who are you working on? So, you are working on the Valagarmander. I think we're good. <coughs> Excuse me. Depart. Now there's only like three people we have to pick up. And I'm gonna go pick up this one. Because I like this character, viewers. It's been a long time since I've seen this character in this game unaltered. As long as Umaro doesn't kill this thing, we should be fine. Okay, let's see if I can put him to sleep or something. What is the sleep spell? Now that attack you saw Umaro just do, in which he threw Strago at the worm, that's uh, something that he gets with the Rage Ring. Basically, we just want to be eaten. And give this guy enough time and he will do that. Love the music here. Alright, these guys are going to try and push us off these little bridges here. We want that to happen one time 
and one time only. I want to get these treasures first. Some new, uh, new stuff here. Holy water. There is a blue magic I have not picked up for Strago yet that I really, really want. Revenge Blast isn't going to do crap here. I was thinking he was someone else. There you go. Now we were moving left, so quickly hold left. And jump. And grab Dancho's Mustache. <clears throat> this is an item for Realm. And I guess it's a accessory. What am I looking for? Holy water. <clears throat> Doncho's mustache changes sketch to manipulate. This is perfect for trying to learn blue magics. Because I can now control monsters and tell them what to do. A red jacket. That is an excellent piece of equipment. I think just for Mash and Edgar, if I remember right. Spirit of a legendary grappler dwells within. Yep. Negates fire completely. So I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that because it ups your magic. We're good. Look, it's a corpse. Kind of. Drill. I mean, I guess you don't like fire. Let's try a level 4 flare. I think every enemy with this sprite knows Life Shaver. And I hate every one of them for it. You can't break Realm. She's immune. The only thing about Umaro is if you're trying to do something like control and he's in your party, good luck. You can't control him. He's a freight train. Going out of control on a unmanned named line somewhere in the back hills of Missouri. Making it up as I go, viewers. Welcome to my life. Okay, now we made it through that first time, no problem. Which means this time is going to be hell on earth. It's just how it goes. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. We'll save. Oh, I hate these people. Hate the ninjas. These ninjas are worse than normal types. The dancer lady's pretty pretty messed up too. Okay. 
We're gonna go with that again. Oh, Strago, why does it hurt you so much? Are you weak to wind or something? Oh, I disappear. Umaro is immune to... How is he immune to thunder? I must investigate this. The Bone Club and the Snow Muffler. Does the Rage Ring do it? It does. Huh. Did not know that. No. We'll just stick with that. Strago! Yeah, he started to learn a spell. It's because of that shield I gave him. The um, ice shield teaches you that. I'm going to give you something other than that. I don't know what. That'll work. I don't know why that sword of all swords would increase evasion. Those are supposed to be just like the most blunt, heavy, made specifically to smash things swords ever. Well, not ever. But that was their purpose. Just a big, heavy sword. Alright. Wind mantle. To drop a save state. Grab that. If you're fast, I wasn't fast enough. I can do it. Ain't gonna happen this time, I'll tell you that. Smash. Because I got hung up. I should not even try to do it. So let's just wait. There's a safe spot right there, if you can find it. This is death, by the way. You get crushed, if I remember right. And you have to go back to the save point. That's why they put it in the room before this one. You also cannot open the menu in that room. Alright, so we got the windmill. Where's the windmill? Right there, it's a throwing star. What else did we get? We got the brave ring. Physical and magic damage up, and a wind mantle. We've had those before. So I'm gonna give a brave ring to you. And we're not done with this place yet. And you may notice there's a treasure chest over there. I want it. And it's another thunder shield. Now that I have two, this would be a great time to go and fight that dragon in Mount Zozo. Take Umaro with me since he absor er, is immune. Yeah? Who are you? You made an appearance in an earlier game. A heavily clothed and mysterious figure. It's impossible to tell by figure whether it's a man, a woman, or something else entirely. It's, it's a go-go. That's what it is. It's a go-go. I am go-go. I've lived here for a long time. There have been no visitors in that time either. I see. I shall go along with you. What are you currently attempting to do? I see. So you are trying to save the world. I suppose my mimicking skills are needed to save the world as well. And we get a go-go. Everybody wants a go-go. Let's get out of here. Let's get on our magic school bus here. And head to Thamasa. Hit up the item shop. Top off the old high potions. Let's we'll buy ten of everything else just to have ten extra. No, most of these things they don't ever use. 
So that filled up our slot. We have to pick up Tina and go get Locke and then we will have everybody. <coughs> so let's go get Tina. Locke's usually the last person I get. So I go go hanging out down here. Yes, I do. We're going to take Umaro, Gogo, Strago, and Realm. What a bizarre party this shall be, viewers. Gogo is special. Gogo is a mimic. Gogo can use uh, some pretty decent stuff. Gogo cannot learn his own magic. Gogo cannot equip super heavy equipment either. Gogo has no abilities, unless you give him some. What would you like Gogo to know how to do, viewers? Take your pick. Well, magic, for one, is nice. Um, attack's probably a good idea. So, do we want Gogo to be able to throw, use sword skills, death blows like MASH does, machines like Edgar, blue magic, sketch, dances like Mog, rages like uh, Gao? It's totally up to you. Now, for the longest time, I didn't know you could do this, so Gogo just mimicked for me. Uh, made things a little tough. Let me give you Death Blow. But the nice thing about him is you pretty much get an extra version of anybody you want. Statistically, he's not a super great party member. But all the other things he can do really make up for it. Let's do... You see his strength isn't super great, so I'm going to give him a Hyper Wrist. Vitality is his weakest point. Cannot equip Espers though, so you can't boost his stats by way of Esper levels up. Levels ups, level ups, level devils, level wevels. Oh, so cute. Anyway, Tina, have you decided you are ready to come and be a killing machine? I did you have a yeti walking in here? Kellyn ran off. Tina's gone. Dean was being called to Catalina, so she ran away. Me know what's going on. Catalina's gonna have a baby. My mom was this way just before my little brother was bored. <sighs> they were doing more than kissing, kid. Tina, mama, you're not gonna take her. Catalina ran off. Catalina ran off. Catalina's belly is getting bigger. Oh. Binge eating to hide her depression or something. Nope. Wrong shop. Wrong shop. I don't want to talk to you, you stupid snowman. Secrets of you. Everybody, da dee da dee da. <coughs> Catalina's gonna have a child. Yes, we know. Very happy to be having a child, but Dean was so cold to me when I told him about it. I'm sad. Catalina, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. You're my favorite salad dressing. I'm so pitiful, but I will be strong. Come on, let's get back together. Well, since you're the only man here. <laughs> Umaro's shocked look. I don't know if I've ever seen it like that before. Emergency Humbaba is coming back. We got it. Umaro battle pose time. It's gonna happen. Oh, no. I lied. Damn it. Solar 
Lexus. So. Go Go will mimic absolutely any action taken in the round previous. So, say Realm summons Quetzali. If I have no one do anything else before Gogo's next turn, we will summon Quetzali again. Just like this. <laughs> Even though Strago is still up there. Oh, that was bad news. I blocked you with a shield as big as my body. It's because I am old. Thousand Needles. No, not Go Go. You jerk. <coughs> Tina. Super magic powers activate. Now we get Tina. Tina gets auto equipped. Tina will stay in Esper form the whole battle. And we just have to beat him to death. He's green, so I'm hesitant to think if Bio worked well. Oh, Bio works very well. Let's do Bio again. Let's scratch my chin while I'm at it. Spam bio viewers. It's the way to victory. There we go. I'm scared. I'm so scared. So if I remember right, in the American version, it's implied that Tina said something along the lines of, Monster again. I'm afraid. I'm always afraid. Anyway, Mama, it's Mama, I know it. What, Mama? Tina? Mama, Tina! I... I can fight! Finally, I understand. This feeling inside of me, it's... Love. I know now. I must fight to protect the lives of those who are not even born yet. To protect, not to kill. Dean, protect Catalina and her unborn child. Everyone, Mama is going to ensure your futures, but I will come back. Mama, I'm not gonna cry. Me either. We'll wait for you to come back. Go on, do your best. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. I owe my thanks to all of you for helping me understand. I can fight in order to protect everyone's future and the lives of those not yet born, too. <clears throat> all right. Yay. That's it. We have all of our magic users back. Now I can really get into the magic grinding super heavy. 
Uh, though we still have some more espers to pick up. You can tell by the way that the list is still not full. Um, let's see. There. Yeah. Okay. No. I'm going to swap the old party around. And um, we have two options. I can go and I can pick up Locke. And then we can take care of a couple of side quests. Excuse me. One involving Strago's little tower thing there. The other way I could do it is not go pick up Locke and take care of that side quest. Because there's a, there's a way to do it without needing him. And I think it might do it that way. Though, it would be nice to have the things he brings to the table. So... I don't know. We should probably go get him. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do some magic grinding. Gogo -Go just joined our party. He's level 33. I'm gonna bring everybody up to level 33. I'll do all the magic grinding I can do. So better take our magic users. And then next time, we'll go pick up this lock fellow. Sound like a plan? Sure it does. Spread that Genji armor around, viewers. <laughs> Peace string increased strength? Oh, that was weird. I know it's going to get everybody to 33, and these folks are already past that. So, we're just going to do magic grinding for these guys. Oh, real quick though. Show you where I do my magic grinding now. Talked about it once, but I didn't actually show it to you. And it's actually a good idea to have Strago for this part, because Strago is able to kill the guy we need to kill. If he knows step count damage. Or step mine which I think is a better name for it. So we want to hang out here in this here desert here. If we run into this guy, this guy's a bit of a jerk. We can run away. Well, what I find works well. Death has about, I'd say 25% chance of working on this guy. It almost always hits him in at least one round of casting. See? One out of four, that's 25%. <laughs> Experience is pretty good. Five magic points. Money's alright. But he's not the guy we're looking for. This is the guy we're looking for. Cactar, or Sabotender. And he's got ridiculously high evasion. He has ridiculously high magic evasion, but for some reason, step count damage here isn't affected by magic evasion. It will hit every time and kill him. 10 magic points, 10,000 gil. No experience points for killing him. So, that makes it kinda nice. So, I'm gonna equip our espers that I need to finish working with. And next time you see me, we'll have all these spells figured out. And hopefully I won't level up too much fighting the worm guys. It's easier to kill them than it is to run. I'll try and not overdo it though. 
Till then, bye now. <laughs>